Hello my dear Leo, this is your love and spirituality reading for the time between August 1st and August 15, 2017 with me Queen of Cups Tarot. Uh, so I use the legacy of the Divine Tarot and I will start shuffling your cards and I call the Divine with love and light and I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world and I call the six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view uh, for my dear leo viewers uh, so i want my dear leos to have love in their lives and to find themselves in loving relationships i also want you to have creative success um okay justice and trio wands queen of coins in the bottom of the deck hmm. um you have been creative with something and created balance in your life and therefore uh, you might uh, actually end up with what you're looking for your ship coming in you have had a dream a vision and you have balanced out some old karma so new uh, things coming in here uh, where were I? Uh, want you to have love in your life and to find yourself uh, in loving relationship. I also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. So uh, this is definitely the month for Leo this August. Not yet. It's just the birthday month for Leo. Uh, it's also a lot of things happening. It started in May when... Uh, uh, the north node of the moon went into Leo and uh, that means that everyone will follow in your footsteps Leo everyone will um, also try to create uh, whatever it is uh, that they need but first finish off their old patterns to be able to begin anew and um, now uh, yeah, in July, the July 23rd, we will have the new moon in Leo. So for those of you watching in, in July, this will, uh, I think it is tomorrow. <laughs> I still haven't checked the date, what is the day today. But <laughs> um, so new moon in Leo, July 23rd. We will also have a new moon in Leo, uh, August 21st. And that's not all of it. Um so we will have the full moon with a partial lunar eclipse in Aquarius, uh, August 7. Uh, so the full moon will be in Aquarius, but opponing Sun and Mars in Leo. Um, so we will also have a total solar eclipse in Leo on the 21st of August. That's the same day after, as the second new moon in Leo. Uh, and the new moon in Leo will be triangling Saturn, moving retrograde in Sagittarius and Uranus moving retrograde in Aries, you know, finishing up the old business and Sagittarius, Aries and Leo, they all fire signs. So very fiery, especially also since Mars is in Leo, aligned there with the moon the same day. Venus will be in Cancer, moving into Leo on the 26th of uh, August and then Mars and, and Venus will be in Leo together. Mercury will start moving retrograde in Virgo August uh, 14. So we will have um, a new Mercury retrograde coming in for those of you <laughs> that uh, are fearful of that. It can tangle up the communications. So um, Mars and Sun is very close together in Leo at the start of the month uh, and opposing the full moon, uh, as I said. And um, also um, the moon will move through 20 to 21st of August. We will have the new moon then as well. And um, well, what other goes on? It's not so much others, but it's promising a lot of action between male and female energy when we have Venus and Mars together in Leo. But this is really the the month for, for you. And um, uh, there is a particular, with the, the lunar eclipses, this with Aquarius, uh, and the Leo thing that's going on, it's, uh, if I remember correctly, you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, it's a 19-year-old cycle uh, that we are starting now. Uh, and also the two new moons, really talking about new beginnings for Leo. So whatever you have been working on uh, that's now finished, it's time to start something new. Okay. 
not having to deal with the old old things. So I will just tune in for a few seconds. So, okay. <clears throat> so my dear Leos, this is your future and this is your now and this is the past. So the past is probably July, but with major arcana cards, it might stretch towards your whole life, depending on what kind of patterns you have been working on. And, and this is in the now. Um, it's probably the first half of August 2017. But whenever you watch this, it's probably the exact right time to see it. You can go back and watch it several times. If you don't understand everything, sometimes there needs to come a little water underneath the bridge. Time has to pass by so you will see more what I, I was talking about here. Uh, and here you have the future. That's probably the second half of August uh, 2017 but it might stretch up to three months uh, this future is the destined point but we can change our destiny that's why uh, we look into tarot because we want to see what's coming so we either can uh, fix it right away we don't have to do uh, the detour uh, and maybe get ourselves entangled in something that we don't need to learn anymore we might get ourselves out of a certain pattern if we can view the future it's also going to show you shortcuts like how to um, what you need to do so you can do it and then be free of it and continue towards new horizons okay so the first card here for leo is the tower it's number 16 and the tower is something that has uh, shaken your grounds and we have had uh, Saturn moving retrograde in Sagittarius. We also have Pluto moving retrograde in Capricorn, making um, like tearing down the old one to build something new on solid ground. So everything that anything that didn't work in your life uh, had to be uh, had to fall. Uh, it had to be sacrificed. And here you also gotten some help. Uh, from the universe, from the divine, from the celestial bodies moving on the heavenly sky to just change things for you. This is a course change. It's a change of direction. First, the tower might be whisperings. You are getting like signs, um, uh, synchronicity, uh, numbers, uh, symbols, uh, or people just coming and saying the same thing to you. Uh, different people saying the same thing. And that's kind of road signs. Very uh, good to listen to those. And um, uh, sometimes it can also uh, come like challenges. You are being challenged and challenged and challenged and challenged. And it might turn up like the volume until it almost uh, gets funny. With those, those challenges, it's like too much to be like... A, like uh, um, the coincidence it's synchronicity again uh, so usually those uh, again are are road signs change your course do this instead get less of that more of that and um, uh, if you don't listen uh, either the divine will kind of just pull the rug underneath your feet or make you change course uh, with some kind of action that you are not really in control over uh, it might happen if you are uh, for example doing something that you're not supposed to uh, you might even hurt yourself or you know sprain an ankle or something so you won't be able to run around and do a lot of stupid things that you're not supposed to do so the tower is a help but it might not feel as a help that's what I was <laughs> trying to aim towards okay and here we have the three of cups uh, so the three of cups uh, shows me uh, that the tower event might have been something that you uh, participate uh, into uh, or you didn't care so much that it happened or you uh, it was actually beneficial for you from the start because the three of cups is a very beautiful card about meeting a lot of interesting people um, searching for your soulmate, um, having fun, enjoying summer, uh, enjoying your life, uh, living it to the fullest, fullest, finding maybe a, a new course of direction that's more creative, more loving, more uh, attuned with your soul. This is cancer, actually, and we have cancer uh, in, in July, moving into Leo. Uh, so it seems like the month of 
July here, it seems like it has been funny. Maybe you have met a lot of people. Maybe you have danced a lot. Maybe you, maybe you have um, bathed in the ocean and, and, and really had the time of your life. Uh, the three are always spiritual numbers working together with uh, Trinity. Uh, and sometimes it can also be love triangles. So maybe meeting, maybe you have been badly or maybe you have been meeting uh, more than one person. Uh, it might also talking about father, mother, child, uh, or um, wife and husband and, and the marriage uh, that has kind of its own entity, uh, its own value. Uh, so, and here we have the judgment. So it seems like whatever you did here, uh, it kind of wake up your spirit. It kind of woke you up. It kind of made you uh, awakened or fresh. Maybe you saw something from a fresh new angle. Uh, this is judgment, waking up lost soul parts, waking up maybe lost creativity, lost uh, talents that you have. Um, so I know you, Leo, have been uh, working really hard, going to the depths, really into the depths, to the shadows. And this is the reward. This is the reward. You are feeling much more stronger with the judgment call, a card. You're also being able to make clearer judgment, being able to see the truth, acting accordingly with the truth, uh, judging situation, a uh, good situation, uh, taking in more of the good thing and and um, um, being more cautious with letting in things that can turn bad for you, being able to be very emotionally mature and very strong and saying yes and no to things. Um, and it's a lot of with music here. We can see music, music, like here's an angel chorus. It's like this, what you can see in church. I don't know the name of the instrument. It's Oriel in Swedish. <laughs> I don't think it's the same in English. Um, so music uh, might be a theme for you. Listen to music. Music might have very, very good messages for you. Uh, also, you can play your own music or sing a lot, or you can wake up with a tune in your head. Uh, write that down. It might have really Im great information. You, I talked about signs with the tower and signs might be coming towards you, Leo, as music. Uh, so pay attention. Uh, you might get a lot of uh, information of, of what's going around on around you or what's going to happen uh, due to music. And here we also have the strength card. Uh, the strength card is the card for, for Leo. And, and we see here a very strong, uh, confident woman uh, being around deadly feline creatures and being totally, re she's totally relaxed and animals are relaxed, but still having this attention. And, and we see this, uh, this arch, it's about roof, but it's also about connection. Uh, and strength is sometimes called passion or lust. Uh, so it's about uh, sexuality as well. And, and, um, um, kundalini energy or 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 um, I like this sexual energy using your your sexual energy uh, judgment together with the eight the strength card those two together is unbeatable you are so strong right now Leo nothing can rock your world uh, whatever even if the roof falls down on your head you won't be touched by this because it's like you're so powerful and it's no thinking about why you're so powerful because everything in the celestial sky is working towards your favor it's to your favor uh, it's really everything is aligned for you now uh, so uh, it has been hard but you have been uh, been growing because of it and becoming very strong so uh, whatever curveball the divine will send your way you will be able to catch it like this and the strength card is also talking about uh, uh, like connecting with your instincts, uh, believing in your instinct, trusting them, starting to trust yourself, starting this, uh, trust these things that's before were dead, like um, things that were uh, lying in your shadow, things that were buried. Now they are waking up and you're, you're very keen with your senses, following your instinct and your intuition. So very in tuned also your soul has stepped down in your, your body. Uh, it's kind of the flower of life here behind um, those feline creatures. So very, very divine feminine. It's, it's, uh, it's all um, those two cards are very feminine. So it's something feminine that you have uh, awakened. Um, it might be, even if you're a man, it's feminine things, um, feminine strength, like this um, lioness kind of strength. 
um, protecting what's really matters, protecting um, having this clear judgment and therefore being able to protect what really matters or going for what really matters. Uh, so it's very, very good. Uh, the next card is actually uh, the devil. Uh, the devil uh, might be uh, Capricorn. So this might be uh, Leo and, and Capricorn together. We see this is very fiery combination. So definitely I think that Leo might have been a little bit naughty du during the summer here. Uh, and and it's good for you because this has really awakened your your powers, your uh, your your from the depth depth power from the depth. Mm, it I I was the one that said it. It was like a fr <laughs> fraud fraud mis uh, miscalculation with this uh, with the speaking, and um, this is also uh, signs with synchronicity. Uh, so you have taken something that was dead and awakened it. Something that was dead inside of you is really passionate and awake and almost to the brink of being dangerous. Uh, so you're walking on a thin line here, Leo, but I'm not fearing this. I think that it's um, it's just the way the planets are working right now. You're picking up uh, useful information, even in those encounters where you are um, walking on the edge of danger here. Um, the devil... It's like you're playing cat and mouse, okay? The devil is actually the mouse. It's just a man in a funny hat. Uh, so you're not afraid of what you were afraid of before. It's like you have, you're on top of this now, like this. Uh, it's like a play for you. It's like you're playing with the mice. Uh, and that's the devil. So anything that has been... Uh, like you have been afraid of it before in your life, uh, being afraid of losing your face, um, exposing your feelings or um, uh, losing your pride or people abandoning you or uh, people not loving you. It's like you are laughing this in, in the face right now because you are so strong and, and whatever people do towards you, you will know exactly how to handle this. Uh, it's like you're very sharp uh, right now. So whatever demon comes your way, you will just play with them because you're stronger than them and, and you are more awakened. OK, uh, so um, this is a lot of responsibility on your hands, Leo. So don't play with with fire. Um, in a way that you hurt other people because this is on the brink of you almost being dangerous for other people. You can really hurt other people. Uh, I don't want you to go back because we really need strong Leos. I have been talking about this before. Leo has been hiding their strength and this is, uh, you are not in hiding anymore. Uh, and this is good. This is exactly what we wanted you to, to come to to become like this. Uh, just don't don't um, become over powerful because that was what uh, forced you to go down. That was f what forced you to to um, uh, imprison parts of you before because you have been kings uh, for thousands and thousands of years and, and you had to be um, made more humble. OK, uh, because even if you had the leadership skills and everything that was needed, the judgment skills and everything that was needed to lead, uh, you also got a blown up ego. And, and now you have learned how to handle this. You have been uh, humiliated and humbled uh, f for hundreds of years. And, and now you are ready to take up this strength and not do the mistakes that you did in the past with this, this tremendous power. You are the sun. The sun is your, your planet, Leo. So there's, there's danger with this to have a lot of power. But uh, as far as now, it seems like you're playing with danger. Uh, you're not scared of it anymore. So uh, it's a little bit manipulation that's going on there. People try to manipulate you maybe and you're just laughing them in their face. Uh, so <laughs> it's it's rather amazing cards here. It's one minor arcana cards, and that's you having fun <laughs> with this, these superpowers. Okay, you're having fun with playing on the edge of danger. Uh, the next card is seven of coins. So this is in in August. It comes underneath the tower. So it's something here, um, something waiting for you. 
uh, a divine timing, uh, something with this course direction that's just, it's holding its breath. It's like, <gasps> it's something waiting. Uh, you have been waiting for something and now something is waiting for you. That's what I hear. Uh, so seven of coins, uh, this this is fully grown, but this is, is still awaiting its potential, but it's not ripe. Uh, it will come to rotation, but it's it's like nothing more you can do. This tower fall, it fell, it fell. Um, as I said to Libra, it's sometimes we don't know that we are living in a house of cards, and eventually it will just fall like this. And now you're waiting for something. Uh, and I don't really know what it is that you're waiting for, but it's something that you lost here. Okay, interesting. Sevens are always challenges, so this is a challenge. Uh, I think uh, with this combination here, you don't have a lot of patience and you're running, you're rushing because you have this power now, like being like, um, it's almost you have the power of creation and you don't like to wait. So it's almost getting like impatient here. And here you have the fate card and the fate is uh, the high, the high priest. It's, um, it's the authority that has been like a co, um, co um, ruling together with you religion. It was, uh, you have been using <clears throat> when you once were Kings and Queens to manipulate uh, people. Uh, to uh, put fear into them that if they don't follow authority, things, uh, the big, um, like, um, the big society will uh, kind of um, um, put them out in the cold if they are not following the rules. Uh, so it seems like you are breaking uh, the rules now. Maybe uh, you are now helping uh, to take down all the authority. But in the same time, a fate card is also Taurus. And Taurus was once uh, a very prominent uh, star sign. Uh, it was a religion spread all over the world. We can see it on Mykonos with, with the bull symbols in all this, uh, in the temple of um, Mykonos. Um, I don't remember what's it's on Crete anyway. And and also we have in Egypt a lot of cow, cow goddesses and the Hinduism is built on the cow. Uh, it's um, it's a symbol of uh, of the earth, of the body being the temple, of being in the here and now, of um, being authentic, of being real, of uh, playing with this, uh, this power of creation as well. Uh, and in the end, uh, all all eons ends and this eon ended and it went into areas instead and we can see this with Mitras for example killing the bull with a knife uh, and this was and what's happening a star sign is in role for a, a little bit over 2000 years and then the next one will come and when Aries was over uh, that was also a horned uh, but this is Capricorn but still those horned uh, signs um, we came into Pisces. Pisces was supposed to be an equal age where people were equal, like the two Pisces. Uh, but in in some way, this old authority with the Aries uh, and, and with the, um, together with the rulers of Leo took over and and continued. So we still haven't got this equality. We still haven't got this beautiful connection. We still have people sitting on top uh, and and ruling. Uh, but um, many Leos have become so um, spiritually advanced uh, during their downfall because downfalls are when you go down, uh, you are being persecuted, you are being executed, you are being uh, burnt as a witch, you are being a lot of things and, and you are being humbled by this and challenged and you grow as, as a spirit. And that was what uh, Jesus on the cross was trying to tell us, uh, that this is... Um, the one that sacrificed themselves is the one that comes to heaven, is the one that ascends. And this is the ascension process that you are now in. And I think you are about to destroy all the authority, okay? And you want this connection. We can see this with the Three of Cups. You want this connection. Uh, but it's really big things going on. Here is the uh, the pillar of Kundalini as well. So it's um, also this with taking the power 
and it's like there needs to be divine timing you need some time you can't rush about things the kundalini energy needs to rise you can see this on old pharaoh symbols or or statues that they have sometimes the snake coming out from their third eye and and sometimes you can also see Horus, uh, the winged god on on the neck on their neck uh, and and what is the snake with wings it's the serpent god uh, so it's about becoming a dragon it's about becoming enlightened and here we have a king of swords so we have um, leo capricorn aquarius and and taurus uh, so earth and air a lot besides you the king of swords is um, is again authority but it's very cool and detached authority that doesn't really care about people's emotion it's very it's judgment again uh, this is the court and this is the judge here uh, so this is seeing things in a very, very logic way. I think you are becoming very, very logic. Uh, you are yet your passionate Leo self, but you have become uh, very sharp minded in some way, not easily fooled uh, because you were working so hard with becoming humble that you almost let people step all over you. Uh, I think this is the thing. You have become like a victim for your own authority, but on the outside of you in some way. And here it comes like this balance act where you are taking in this, this power and, and becoming very, very uh, logic and very rock solid. And you're not, uh, you're not taking people's words for it. You're checking their actions. You're seeing uh, through and through like with X-ray vision on things and it might uh, make you come off as cold so again with this um, this cat playing with the mice uh, so be a little bit uh, careful with this and yes here we have the nine of swords so the nine of swords has been following you around for a long long time leo but it since it come underneath the strength card i don't think that you are fearing it so much anymore but still with this you can't skip a step uh, if you're being awakened at night with thoughts, let those thoughts get to you. Okay, you need to fall a little bit longer. It's something with the thoughts. It's something with this. Uh, you have, it's like you have reached up above the surface of the water and, and gotten air finally. And you don't want to go back to the depths. You don't want to get go back to the darkness. Uh, but you have still things that you need to see there. So just because you are this super powerful right now doesn't mean the deal is done or that you are done and the challenge are being done. You still need to let yourself, even if you don't have to, because you have all the tools now for becoming very strong and detached, you still need to, uh, with your free will, stay and look, uh, stay inside your body as much as possible. Even if you can, um, if you, even if pain won't really touch you anymore, you really need to start searching it up. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, I come to talk with you again. Uh, this has been a tune ringing in my ears since the day I started with with the uh, general readings and I know I have taken up this song before but it has it's, it has been resting for a long time and it just came up again so uh, hello darkness my old friend I come to talk with you again you have things still that you need to do so go free willingly this time no nothing is forcing you uh, you need to go there yourself you have I think you have been checking up uh, how you have been a victim before you have checked up how how you have been a victim and you have been doing something about it. So you're not a victim anymore. But this, your really old karma with being the ruling elite uh, is now um, coming up with you. So before you might have remember past life like being um, persecuted in different ways. And now you're going to remember how you have hurt others. Uh, so this is also needs attention. This also needs healing. You need the whole picture. Don't blindfold yourself to this. Go deliberately, even if you don't have to. Uh, even if you don't, you, you don't have to feel ashamed of, about what you did before. We are always doing the best we can. And sometimes uh, the best we can is, is not, um, it's hurting other people. 
So you just have to look at this. You don't have to dwell in, oh, I was such a bad person. I did this. I made war against them. I totally erased this um, uh, this culture. You don't have to do that. You just have to see it. You just have to remember it. So you might have prof prophetic dreams during this time, uh, seeing yourself doing very bad things. And that's okay. Uh, go with that. Follow that. It just needs to be seen. It just needs to be recognized. It's like small traces of, of stuff that still needs to be uh, checked out because it's very, it's very keen that you are very clean now during this solar eclipse uh, uh, situation. So don't miss out on something. Be very, very awake. You see, awake, awake very aware about the things that feel it might feel like you know s or stupid or boring or you don't want to because you have come to this high altitude you don't want to go down in this you know old men with beard that's ruling the world or a new world order or illuminati or um, what you have been doing that has been hurtful also to others uh, before in, in past lifetimes. It's, it's mostly like this. Uh, so it might feel like tedious, but it's, it's just uh, finishing up work. So do it, even if it's boring. <laughs> yes, nine of swords, ten of swords. Um, and it's underneath the devil. Okay, so I think that I said that you were going to be like a mice, but playing with, with a rat and the rat will be the devil. So yes, people will try to hurt you again. People will really try to hurt you again. And um, uh, it might be, I, I come to thinking of this old, uh, with the stories of the monks of Tibet, when, when, when Sh China army came, the Chinese army came and uh, they killed a lot of people, a lot of priests uh, and priestess there. And, and um, um, the Buddhists there, uh, they, they fought they felt like more sorry for them that came and, and did this terrible act than those who were the victim for it. Because those who were, were the victim for it, they were just paying back old karma. And they, them who were the perpetrators were getting new karma, a new like thousands and thousands of year cycle to look forward to in the future. So I think uh, you, Leo, will be um, people will do stupid shit towards you and you will see it because you are so awake and just see it as payback. It's just like you're paying back a debt. So just don't let them hurt you, but let them do it to you and send them on their way. Okay, let them just play out their act. I don't mean that you should let people steal things from you or hurt you, but don't um, uh, don't resist if people are still doing the same stupid shit towards you that they have always done in your life this repetitive just let them do it don't react um, just just be with this uh, and um, okay nine of swords ten of swords uh, I've seen this so many times before, so I know that it needs to mean something more significant than, than this. But it's really, you're, you're already waking up, so I can't say that you should open your eyes because your eyes is wide open and the veil has fallen. So uh, maybe this is the apocalypse. A apoc <laughs> apocalypse doesn't mean the world will end. It means that the veil is dropping from your eyes. So the veil has been dropping. Maybe you are going to see... Um, Maybe you're going to remember a lot, a lot of your old lives. And even some of you will be able to envision the future. Uh, this is what I see uh, that's more than deeper than just pain. Uh, okay, so uh, don't avoid the, any pain that will come. Just be with it. You have done this thousands and thousands uh, of times before. Always, always in the darkness, there are messages and they are things that wants to be brought up like this music here. And it's important. It's important messages. So don't miss them just because you think it's tedious to go down in the darkness again. Go down there deliberately. Choose to do it. Choose to face whatever comes. So take like uh, take one hour or 10 minutes from your uh, creative, uh, busy Leo day and, and just stay in your body and feel search up whatever uh, glitches might be there and uh, and just stay with it and and see what kind of mess messages might come true you can also write things down 
Okay, so that was in the now, and here we have the future. It continues with the sevens. Uh, okay, so I think I have to say the same thing that I, I said to Cancer, that the war isn't over. Uh, here it has been like a pulse, and, and here it will hit off again. So whatever happened here will kind of repeat itself. Uh, and you are standing at the doorway, protecting uh, your kingdom, protecting yourself. So uh, this is what I said. I think things will repeat in your life. It's like uh, the wheel, the karmic wheel have some momentum still in it. So things will repeat. The same thing will come. And it's just, it's kind of like a test. It's like a challenge uh, just to see that you really got the hang of it, that you know now what to do, that you don't... Uh, uh, avoid doing things for the fear of the consequences and I don't mean stupid things I mean like not if you have been in a certain pattern and you were unable to take yourself out of there because you fear the consequences of being alone being without work being you know uh, excluded from your family or whatever now you're not fearing this anymore and but you have to prove it it's like you have to prove it again. Uh, it's like you're going to be tested again with the sevens. It's always challenges. You can't avoid this. So the war is still on you. Even if you had, um, you feel like your enemy is this rat or this um, devil in the funny hat and you're not fearful anymore because you're so awake. Uh, it's still going to come and challenge you. It still has momentum. Uh, and here you have the fool. Uh, so the party isn't over for Leo. We can see this here. Uh, the Three of Cups. Uh, this playing with a veil that has dropped. The year 2017 is the Le a Leo year, but it's also the end of illusion. And the illusion might have been the emperor without clothes. So something that has been a big authority in your life or scaring you or making you subordinate is not going to make you being able to, not going to make you being subordinate anymore. Uh, the veil has fallen. You are not afraid of uh, this authority anymore. Whatever you feared before won't be an issue anymore. The fool is bravery, the bravery to the brink of stupidity, okay? It's like uh, jumping over the edge, just doing things and not caring for the consequences. And we have the masculine entity here in the shape of a domestic dog. You had the feminine entity here in the shape of wild animals wild feline animals uh, so uh, there's a little part of you that still wants to uh, to play um, playing play with bigger boys or um, play with like go along with the torty uh, but this entity is just holding on for for their life here and in the veil that has already fallen so that's very symbolic uh, and it seems like you will make this into a funny game because you are not emotionally detached like attached anymore you're not uh, sorry you're not um, um you're not fearful anymore you see strength and king of swords uh leo and air uh, together uh that's and it's very strong. It's super strong. It's much like the judgment and the, the strength. It's very... Uh, people can do whatever they want. You won't really be affected. You won't be sad. You won't be... You, will, you might be like rocked for a few seconds and then you will find your footing again. Uh, so that's really amazing. So you will, you will play with this energy. Okay. Hmm. And here you have an ace of coins. So with the judgment, something that died, that has reawakened, uh, king of swords. You, some of you uh, might have an air sign in your life. It might be an Aquarius. It can also be Gemini or Libra. Uh, there will be a, a start, a fresh start. Uh, it's like a new chance, an embryo, something that um, needs to be, uh, you need to take action upon this chance if you want it. Uh, but you're also uh, looking very clearly on this new chance. Uh, you, are, you are going to decline it or say no to it if you think that it's something fishy with this or that you don't, you don't want it because you're in the position to choose now. Uh, it seems like you are in the position to choose. Uh, the next card is the Eight of Coins. So Eight of Coins talking about uh, building onto something that has been you have been working on before. And we have the Eight Strength also right above here. Uh, so 
uh, this is the beautiful willingness that you have uh, to put the divine uh, laws above your own and putting the divine will above your own. Um, even if you are super strong, you know now better than to put yourself in the position as a god. Okay, because that's what so many kings and authority in our history has been doing. They are putting themselves in the position as God. And, and this is Leo not doing that, but actually putting themselves and their will uh, in the favor of uh, universe and are fulfilling the, the prophecy or the evolution of, of human beings uh, through working together with the energies instead of um, like the uh, power reaching to your head in, in a way that you will be uh, like egocentric or full of yourself. It's the other way around here. You have learned an important lesson through these past thousands of years. Uh, so now you know uh, the, the meaning of cooperation. Uh, so if there will be given an uh, a situation, a chance for you to cooperate with others, you will do so. And we can see here the King of Swords is really central with this joyful, playful work that you are doing. Uh, so you're going to keep a sharp mind all the time, uh, but you're going to do the work that's necessary with your emotion invested and also your time. Uh, <laughs> It's very, it's very beautiful. It's like you are on top of the game, but you're still sacrificing yourself in some way, not in a bloody way, but in a willing way. It's like you want this, you want to be better, you want to grow at a personal level, you want to do what's right, you are a willing servant now to forces that's higher than yourself. Uh, so very beautiful. Very archangel quality on the judgment and the king of swords here. So you might have very, like, all eyes on you right now, Leo. Uh, and here you have a five of wands. So what did I say? The war isn't over for Leo, and it's not over for, for Cancer either, because this was a little bit the same. And you have to deal with someone, uh, a devil, it might be, uh, inside of you or external to you, uh, a power that wants to destroy your life or do... Uh, something that's bad or manipulate you or you want to manipulate others. Um, it's a very strong force and you're going to have to fight it. Either this is a tree fighting it with itself, so it might be an internal struggle, uh, but it might be an external. But trust yourself. Don't believe yourself to be a bad person. This is what put, your, put Leo in the pickle from the first uh, place. <laughs> Uh, to to blow uh, an ego out of proportion uh, is you are doing this because you lack self love, and now you have found uh, very much self love. It's like you can play with the forces of the universe, um, and um, this have made you very strong. So don't go back to to uh, disliking yourself or distrusting yourself or thinking that you are doing bad. If you need to go to war, go to war. Uh, I am, the heaven will back you up uh, if you need to uh, fight against uh, cruelty uh, that you see uh, you are kind of 007 with the right to do so okay not with the right to kill uh, but with the right to use the truth uh, to to um, win this fight okay five of wands hmm oh it's um uh, it's when you come to this power position, there's a lot of uh, forces that wants to bring down uh, the light. And um, so uh, you're a beacon of light now in this power pos position. So um, you will be drawn into mysterious combats with people and you won't really know what's what's happening. You have the Ten of Wands here uh, falling out from the from the past. So before, with the Ten of Wands, traditionally it's about uh, not following your instincts, not telling what you really mean, not uh, um, holding back like your instincts. But we see on this person, it's almost like a Sagittarius. Uh, they are not holding back. They are gold, going with their white horse. They are going with their sense of victory. They are following their true emotions. And, and they are sensing victory. So um, 
I think you hold you. I I said you you were holding back before and you don't anymore. So this is a big victory for you. This and and here comes the five of wands. So it's like you're going back on a circle routine because you need to prove yourself. Uh, so what is it that Leo needs to prove in the future? What is it that Leo needs to prove? Two cards came out. And here, <laughs> oh, we have this, of course. This is a very narcissistic personality. This might be like um, uh, Marie Antoinette that's, that was <laughs> like due to legends. She said, if the poor people doesn't have bread, why can't they eat cookies? Mm? She was later uh, guillotined in the French Revolution. Uh, so this might be how you have died uh, <laughs> several times, Leo. Um, so, um, as a mirror, I think you might have like narcissistic people in your surrounding now. So you will be able to see this very clearly, uh, what has been going on in your head once. And, uh, and this is what you are going to have to face. Like what I said with the monks, uh, don't be angry with those people acting like this because they are, it's just payback time. Uh, so play with it. Um, be gracious with it. Uh, be the bigger person. Um, know that this person being like this, only seeing themselves and me, 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 uh, just trying to fool your you to get to what they want. Trying to manipulate you to get you what from you what they want. It's just a mirror of what you have been doing once. And so you know this, you know this through and through. You know how to handle these people. Don't be afraid of them um, and don't give in to them. Just show them the right direction to go. Give them a very clear mirror with love and dignity. Use this judgment and strength, being the bigger person, uh, being very cool, undramatic, gracious, uh, full of love. Uh, help this person because this person is a person with very limited experience. As rulers, you had very limited experience of other people's uh, needs. And now you're meeting people that are exactly like you were. And it's just payback time. So don't be sad about this. <laughs> okay. And here you have this card. And it's about gambling. And it's something that was... It was a little bit of team before because a team because I heard it on the radio and it came to me like with with big synchronicity. Um, and I have talked to you about it before or some of this, the, the signs anyway. And it's this. Um, you got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you punk? That's actually Clint Eastwood in in Dirty Harry. And um, uh, this card is all about uh, evaluating the odds and taking risks. Life is a constant roll of the dice, so you must consider all pros and cons. While some choices can be avoided, others we are forced to make. Each come with own, its own promise of reward or consequence. Our perception of our own chances are often influenced by our own individual abilities, beliefs and superstitions. But ultimately, only the lady knows what card she holds. Lady of luck. Uh, so, uh, you're a gambler and you need to trust your own instincts in this gambling situation because i think you have taken power into your own hands and now you need to rule with this power you need to roll the dice you need to see this through and and not becoming the thing that you were before not becoming like them um but not being a victim uh, to them either the authority the people that wants to manipulate the people that wants to drag you down don't be like them don't become like them and don't be ruled by them okay so uh, a roll of the dice um lucky strike we'll see five ones it's be war anyway you're still in war uh leo the war isn't over uh okay so I want you to take really, really good care and um, uh, I hope to see you again in the middle of August as we are approaching uh, closer and closer to this big event with the, the solar eclipse and the new moon in Leo. It will be exciting times with probably exciting news. So deal with this. Don't be saddened by it that you have done all this work and things are 
are still a little bit the same, like you're meeting the same kind of people doing the same stupid things. Uh, just deal with them in the way that you weren't able to do it before because you are uh, playing with the mice here. Okay, so bye bye, dear Leo.